fail and our opponent will be facing and picking this back leg up. Our shoulder drives down, I back heel and drive my hips forward. Hi there, I'm Ross Nichols, head coach at London Grapple, Deptford, South East London. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to enter to backside 50-50 from butterfly, a chain to get there. Remember how to do this. So, what's a very common situation to have in butterfly is that after an attempted sweep, we might fail and our opponent will be facing and picking this back leg up as well. So, we're going to look at attacking this position. Now, butterfly hooks work in multiple directions. So, here, we can no longer sweep in this direction because he's built his base. But what we can do is use it the other way to get after this leg. So, for this entry, a backside fit, I'm going to go for the armpit, underhook the leg, open my knee to force him off in this direction. Now, his hands will be on the floor and he's facing away from me. I would not do this if he managed to square up and face me. I want him to be over here. So from here, this leg, outside leg, comes in, hooks at the hip. This foot shrimps, allowing his knee to drop to the ground. Throwing this leg over into the slot and passing the foot to the other side of us. From here, we drag our shoulder back through the toes, take our butterfly grip. Now the key with the finishing, what I want to do is back heel, driving my hips forward, and then finally at the end is turn my face to the floor. So I'll be turning my nose to the ground. Whilst, whilst back heeling and driving my hips, I then toes my, turn my nose to the floor to finish the inside heel. So we'll go again. Different angle. So, we attempt to sweep, it can be anything. But our objective is to get this hand base in and this leg up. So, I try sweeping here. I'm now going to underhook the leg and switch this hand to the armpit. This hand's going to help me push in this direction, but most of the work is done with my butterfly hook. It's important that you shorten the hook and then extend with your hips. The foot will now come in, hook in, so we have the other foot to shrimp and turn into our opponent. This will allow his knee to drop to the floor. This leg's going to come over here. We reach for the shoelaces, pass it up onto the other side of our body here. Slide in through. We link up our butterfly grip, so that's our butterfly here. Our shoulder drives down. I back heel and drive my hips forward. Got the tap there. So, without the foot, to finish, drive hips forward, back heel, and then turn your nose to the floor. I'm doing this without the foot because it's quite a tight pinning. One more time. We attempt the sweep, we end up here. So now, it's not uh, the only option we have from here. We can use this hook also to attack our violin arm bars. The point is that we're taking weight off of this side of his body to attack this side. So in an attempt to sweep, we fail, we then shorten, and now in this situation, they go backside 50-50, armpit, leg through, underhook the leg. Shorten your hook, extend it. So now we've got hold of this. With the leg control, what I want is the cup above the knee. This makes it very difficult for him to extract the leg. This grip's important. This is no good. I want it here, above the knee. Foot comes in, these toes on the floor, so we can shrimp, getting our hips onto the side of the knee, allowing his hips to drop. Leg goes over and through the hole. Grab the shoelaces, push it up to the top side of our body. Here and here. Back heel, hip in through, and then turning our stomach to the floor to finish that inside heel. So, yeah, there's a nice little leg lock entry for you guys from uh, Butterfly. 
It gives you an idea of some of the concepts of the butterfly hook when we fail at the sweep and how we can use it to isolate other parts of the body. Um, we're set, London Grapple is setting up a YouTube channel with techniques not just from myself but from our other instructors here who are all really excellent grapplers, uh, particularly in the Nogi side of things. Uh, so please check that out and if you're ever in town, come and uh, visit us. We'd love to have you.